Hey guys, so all you're gonna see are my happy hands today. I wanted to walk you really quickly through how to actually do a protein synthesis problem. Now we've talked about what protein synthesis is in the video we watched last night, but I wanted to show you more specifically how to take a DNA strand that you are given, use a codon chart, and then figure out what the protein um, or the amino acid sequence might be of a protein you're trying to figure out. So if we start with our DNA strand, which we have right here, um, more often than not, we will be told that it is DNA, but you can also tell it's DNA by the fact that it has T's in it and not U's, because remember, only RNA has U's. What we want to do is first transcribe it into mRNA. Now, our mRNA, or our messenger RNA, is going to be almost like writing a complementary strand of DNA, except we are using U's instead of T's. Remember, uracil takes the place of thymine. So if we start over here, T, this complementary base will be A. A normally would be T, but we'll put a U here instead because there are no T's in RNA. C, G, G, C, G, C, T, A, G, 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 that one's easy. A, remember, normally would go with T, but there's no T, so we use a U. C would go with G, and T goes with A. So this is our strand of mRNA. Now, mRNA is going to match up with our tRNA. This is a large version of a tRNA. Remember, the tRNA is going to bring over an amino acid on this end and have an anticodon on this end. But we're not going to worry about the tRNA quite yet. Um, we're only going to use our codons, which remember are groups of three nucleotides in our mRNA, to find our amino acids. Now remember, every codon matches up with one specific amino acid. So we can use what's called a codon chart to figure this out. So we start with our first one. AUG. So we go over here, find our first letter on our codon chart, A. Then we find our second letter up here. So stay in this box. Our second letter is U. And our third letter is G. So AUG, that codes for MET, MET. So that is our first amino acid. Our second one, same thing, we find C, C, A, C, C, third letter is A, right here, CCA is going to match up with the amino acid, P-R-O, pro. There's actually longer names for these, but I don't want to confuse you now, so we're just going to use our abbreviations. G, 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 that's an easy one, G, 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 find it on the chart, lysine, G-L-Y. And finally, U, G, A, U, G, a, that is our stop codon, so that means our protein is complete. Normally, MET, that's our start codon as well, so we started with the right one and we stopped with the right one, and this is going to be our amino acid sequence, or the sequence of our protein. And that's it, it's super easy. All you do, ha you have to transcribe from DNA to RNA, and then translate from mRNA to your amino acids or your protein sequence. Think you got it? All right, see you later.